In this video, we're going to walk through how to use WeVideo to create an audio podcast. So we want to get that MP3 file so that we can share it or submit it for an assignment. For this particular project, it may be collaborative. So we're going to have one person on the team go to the Projects tab to create the collaborative project. If you kind of go down to the bottom right, click on the plus sign to create the new project, give the project a title, and select Collaborative. This will allow different people at different times to work on one edit. Click on the next. You want to invite with a link. So when you get to this link, you can copy and paste it into a shared document or email it to the rest of the people on your team so that each person has access to the project. Um, just remember that only one person can edit at a time. When you get to this step and you've shared that link, you can create the video. This brings up your video editing screen. It's also audio. So we're not going to use any of these video tracks. We're only going to use the audio tracks. We're going to give it a new title and click OK. So the first thing we want to do is add in an introduction. So we're going to go to this star, which is WeVideo's essential library. And it connects us with a lot of free content. So whether it's video, images, or audio clips, if you do a quick search, so let's say that our podcast is sports themed, we can then narrow that search to audio only so we can find free audio clips to use as our intro and outro. And so maybe we want to use this one. Okay, so we're going to drag it into the audio line. So we'll see here that we're kind of putting it starting at zero seconds. We've added it to audio one. If you can't put it there, it's red. If you can put it there, it's green. And maybe we want this intro to last for, let's say, six seconds. So we can clip it. That will allow us then to adjust the audio level. So if we want it to fade in and fade out, we have these adjustments. You can also adjust using the dots. So if you want the fade in to last longer, you can just drag it longer or shorter. And we can also adjust the overall volume level so we don't kind of blow people out of the water with our intro. We might leave the rest of this song as background noise for the rest of our podcast. So we can decrease that level, go kind of way down just so it's gentle in the background. You can then preview it and that will give you an opportunity to adjust. Again, like you want this to be pretty quiet if you want to be able to hear voices over the top. All right, next thing we want to do is record our actual audio for the podcast. So we're going to go up here to the folder and we're going to click on the microphone button. This allows to create content in WeVideo. Once you have this selected, you can click on the microphone. It may ask you to approve the microphone. After the three second countdown, you get to start recording. So give it a good introduction, maybe something that's a little catchy, go through your content, and then make sure you wrap it up at the end. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. We look forward to you listening in next time. You stop. It's kind of got that recording. When you click on the green check, it will save your voiceover. So here we see that it's created a whole new voiceover line with the audio that we just recorded, and you can move and edit this as necessary. You can also adjust the volume with this section here. Okay, and then you can listen to it if you need to. All right. Once you've got your podcast all recorded, you've got a nice intro. Maybe you've added a little bit of an outro, so we'll add a little music there. And we can snip it, and maybe we want to bring the audio level back up to kind of give us an outro, like fade it out a little bit. You can add all of that in there. So we've got it all set. You go to Finish. When you click on Finish, make sure your title makes sense. Select Audio Only. This will give you an MP3 file, so Audio Only file. And you want to save it to your drive. Okay. Once you've selected this, you can export. It will send it to a WeVideo folder in your Google Drive. And from there, you can move it to maybe your class folder or to a submission in an assignment and be able to share it. If you have any questions, you can always check on this little question button in the upper right-hand corner or come visit us in the LRC.